Fort O Caliente was established along the La Canada Alamosa River, some 20 miles northeast of present-day Winston, and around 50 miles to the west of Fort Craig. It was to stand as an advanced picket outpost for the main fort. During the struggles with local Apache tribes, Fort Ojo Caliente was used to monitor Apaches living on the Warm Springs Reservation. The Warm Springs Reservation and Fort Ojo Caliente were officially closed in 1877. Though abandoned by the military, the fort, it seems, was still inhabited by an entity that became known as the ghost of Fort Ojo Caliente. Many tales were spun around Sierra County campfires about this elusive apparition. This account was first published by local resident Susan E. Lee in her 1960 book, They Also Served. She goes on to write, Old Fort Ojo Caliente was experienced by my Uncle Frank Laughlin when he was a young man, and the old fort was still standing, she writes. Frank Lofton was no coward, and he was as tough as the next guy. But at this particular time, Frank was going horseback from the VT Ranch to Fairview, now in Winston. He had made a late start, and that night overtook him close to the abandoned fort. When the army moved out of the country, it was still used to camp by many wayward travelers. When Frank got there, he turned his horse out in a small pasture, took his saddle and blanket to the first room that he came to, and after eating a meager meal, went to bed early, as he had ridden many miles and was tired, and he was soon asleep. He was awakened by the sound of a horse coming into the yard. This did not cause him any alarm, as he thought it was just another rider like himself getting under shelter for the night. He could hear the familiar sounds of the saddle gear creaking and the jangling when the rider dismounted, and plainly heard the rider remove the saddle and throw it on the porch while he removed the bridle. Frank decided that it was time to let his visitor know that he was there, just in case he was a nervous type of a guy, and he might resent company. So he hollered, Hello there! Frank waited, but received no answer to his greeting. Then thinking, well, maybe due to the noise made by the saddle gear, he had not been heard. So again he shouted good and loud, Hello there! Still no answer. Frank knew that he had plainly heard a man walking down the hall dragging a saddle. That sound was all too familiar to a cowboy. When there was no reply to his second friendly hail, Frank opened up his door and looked down the hall. It was a bright, moonlit night, and he could see clearly from one end of the hall to the other. The hall was empty. No man, no saddle. Frank walked to the end of the hall and banged on the door he thought the rider had entered. No answer. So he opened the door and looked in. The room was empty. He looked in all the other rooms, and they too were empty. Frank knew he had heard a man walk to the end of the hall, dragging a saddle, and he also knew stirrups and cinch would make plenty sign in the deep dust. So he got out a match, lit it, and examined the floor in the hall. The only sign he could find were his own boot tracks. No sign of a saddle having been drugged through the dust. And about this time, Frank's hair began to stand straight up. It began to dawn on him that maybe he, what he had heard was exactly what others had told him that they had heard. It was the routine of the Ojo Caliente ghost. Frank went out and looked to see if there was an extra horse in the pasture. His horse was the only one there. It was the last straw. Uncle Frank said he lost no time catching his horse and getting him saddled. He wasn't scared. Nope. He just felt rested and wanted to ride. In fact, he wanted to ride fast and far, which he did. This strange sound was experienced by several other people, 
and no explanation was ever found. Whatever became of the Fort Ojo Caliente ghost, no one knows. The old fort has fallen. There's only a pile of rock to mark the spot. But if Uncle Frank were still alive, I bet he would travel a wide circle around the old ruins. <laughs>